Hey, what's going on guys? Ash here with some more information on the Power Rangers Netflix reboot being worked on by Hasbro and Netflix and Jonathan Entwistle. Now, this has been in production ever since 2019, ever since it was announced. And for the longest time, we've had little bits of official information and a lot of leaks and a lot of rumors and a lot of rumblings with what this project could be about. So, Jinsaku, once again, has got some interesting leaks and rumors that we're going to go over that could be, sort of, be playing a role with this reboot. So, nothing is confirmed at this point, as the reboot, re reboot series movie is still in production phase. And the reboot's an interesting thing, because now that Cosmic Fury has ended, and we don't know what the future of Power Rangers is going to be, moving forward after Cosmic Fury, it's mostly the reboot that a lot of people are going to be talking about. So the reboot is probably on everyone's mind right now when it comes to like the next stage of Power Rangers that isn't the comics or isn't a video game or anything else. So this is the one thing that's probably going to have a lot of people talking and a lot of people having eyes on in the Ranger fandom. So let's jump over to... Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it, and read the post that Jinsaku made, because I saw this this morning when I was on the train to work, but now I'm in video form talking to you guys about it, so let's go over it with me and my terrible reading abilities, so let's go. Breaking, Hasbro Netflix is prioritizing and whistles work on concluding the Power Rangers script now that the WGA strike is over via a Hasbro rep, so a Hasbro rep told him this, that's interesting. It's also stated that work is stated to, sorry, it's also stated that work as, sorry, I cannot speak right now, also stated that work at, has started as soon as yesterday, okay, 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 that's what it's probably meant to say. The current state of the new series is the Edward Hill script has been tweaked and turned into the first two episodes, with the third act cut to extend the series. Alright then, the current roster is, alright now this is probably going to have a lot of people talking, a female Red Ranger, Green Ranger is the leader of the group, maybe Tommy, an LGBTQ male Ranger, either blue or yellow. People are going to have a field day on that in the comment section, which I'm fine with. I'm totally fine with. There's probably going to be those people who are going to say, Oh, Hasbro is woke. Uh, Sentai is better. Sentai has had a trans ranger and a non-binary ranger, if you haven't been keeping up in the recent years. So uh, if you're going to use that argument, I've got that fact for you. Okay, what else did Jinsaku post? Colors are green male, red female, blue male, yellow male, pink female. It was originally MMP. It was originally MMPR core colors, but later got switched for green to make green the leader and focus of the show. All right there. All right then. Next year is still set to be the hiatus year, but still expect casting and filming news. That's good to know. That's what's one thing I've been. Ex that's one thing I've been expecting uh, ever since Cosmic Fury ended. I feel like that. 2024 is going to be the year of casting and sort of filming news for the reboot. I'm sure that if we didn't have the strike going on, that would have been this year, but it looks like next year we'll probably see bits of that information uh, trickled out through online media. So we've also got this saying, also there's a good chance that E1 is still involved due to the contract obligations before the Lionsgate ac ac acquisition. Ac acquisition. I cannot speak right now. All right, so we've got our colors. Uh, I want to jump to the big camera. Give me one second. All right, so we've got our colors down when it comes to this reboot. We kind of know what colors might be which, which is something we've heard mostly about for this reboot, along with the Edward Hill script that we've heard about as well uh, for the longest time as well. Now, we don't know anything about the plot, so if you're going to be quick to jump on this and call it shit, well, you do that, but it's kind of shit because we don't know anything about that. Like, you can't really call it dog shit, or sounds dog shit, when we know absolutely nothing at all. The shit is silent right now, you could just say that. So, we've got that going on. But, 
the colours and the car sound interesting. It's the whole Green Ranger thing that has my attention that we've heard for the longest time because ever since um at the start like at the start of last month when it was Jason David Frank's birthday, Jonathan Anderson made that post saying that Tommy Oliver, his character, would be the focus of the reboot. So that's the one thing that had a lot of people talking when it came to this reboot. A lot of people wondering how is Tommy Oliver going to play a role? What is Tommy Oliver's role going to be? Who is going to play this Tommy Oliver? And what kind of Tommy Oliver will we see? So I feel like that's the one thing that a lot of people have questions. Like, is this going to be... What kind of Tommy Oliver is this, is this going to be? This is probably going to be some kind of variant of Tommy Oliver. But I also wonder how they're going to honour the legacy of JDF and the character Tommy Oliver. A lot of people have been gunning for Jenna Frank to play, like, Tommy's daughter or something, which is an idea that I honestly don't care about, or I'm not too gung-ho on, I could say myself, uh, just because it just doesn't sound like an interesting idea, in my opinion. I'm sure she's talented, I'm sure she can act, but um, a lot of people just push this whole uh, daughter of Jason David Frank should play the next Green Ranger. Which is cool, I can understand where they're coming from, but I don't know. That whole passing the torch thing, meh, not for me, not for me at this moment. We'll see what happens. But uh, we, like I said, we've got the colours for this reboot, like we know what colours they are. They could change at any moment, uh, like I said. Uh, black got switched for green to make green the leader of the show. Um, but what's interesting is this is a reboot series. I thought this was a reboot movie. Unless if I remember correctly, Hasbro said they're doing a reboot movie and a series, along with an animated series or something like that, if I remember correctly. It's hard to keep track at this point, because we've heard so much from Hasbro and E1 over the past couple of years, ever since this reboot was announced. Like, I remember doing, like, live reactions to, like, the Hasbro E1 press release to get some sort of, like, Nintendo Direct news about the Power Rangers series, but we just got, hey, we're working on it, we're working on Power Rangers, we own it, we're working on it, we've got that, um, but seeing how Lionsgate has sort of owned, sort of bought the rights to, like, E1, if I remember correctly, so they'll be taking the reign, like, a lot of people have been wondering, will we get sort of, like, a pseudo-sequel for Power Rangers 2017, that's the one thing on people's minds, but uh, hearing this information from Jinsaku is pretty interesting, and I do wonder what's going to become of this Power Rangers reboot done by Jonathan and Whistle now that Cosmic Fury is over. Uh, we'll see what happens, because we're probably not going to hear nothing for the longest time, and maybe come 2024 is when we'll start seeing things trickle out and we'll get some more information. I get the feeling if this thing moves ahead and the strikes end, we could probably see this reboot in late 2024 at least, or early 2025 at least. That's my prediction. That's my prediction. Not my statement, my prediction. Uh, but we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens. But what do you guys think of this upcoming reboot news information from Jinsaku? Are you excited? Are you not excited? I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. With that said, I'm going to bring this video to a close. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out, take care, bye.